So Google not indexing new posts or if you're wondering why your pages or posts are not being indexed on Google, there's a perfect video for you. We got a three step process. In this three step process, we got to understand how to identify the issue, fix them and how to get your pages and new blog posts indexed on Google as fast as possible. So without any delay, let's go to the step one, which is to identify if there's technical issue on your website URLs. That's why pages and blog posts are not being indexed on Google. Take example of any blog post which is not getting indexed on Google. Copy the URL of that blog post. In my case, I'm going to copy this URL of my blog post which is not being indexed on Google. Then I go back to Search Console account. Guys, Search Console is a really important tool. I think every blogger or website owner should use this tool. If you don't know what is Search Console, I'm going to link a video in description where I explain everything about Search Console. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, I'm sure you know about Search Console and you are really master of Search Console and you know a lot of things about it. So what are you going to do? We're going to paste the URL here and then we're going to click enter. So it's going to retrieve the data from Google. And you can see here, this says URL is not on Google. So this is a test of this URL. And guys, now don't get discouraged. What you need to do here is click on test live URL because sometimes what happens, this data is not updated. And when you click on test live URL, you might see the page might be indexed on Google. It might take a few seconds to a minute to get this test completed of the live URL. Okay, so you can see here, URL is available to Google. So Google knows about this URL but this page is not indexed on Google. And guys, please focus here. So what you need to do is go back to Google index here and then go to page indexing here. So first thing you need to check here is sitemap. So make sure this page is added to the sitemap of your website. If you don't see any referring sitemap here, it means your sitemap on your website is not getting updated. So make sure using a high quality plugin like Rank Math, Yoast SEO or AI SEO plugin to do the SEO of your website because what happens when you use this kind of plugins, they automatically update a sitemap of your website. So make sure it is really important these pages which you want to index, they are updated in the sitemap of your website. Second most important thing, you see here crawl allowed and indexing allowed. These two points are very important guys. And you need to see these both should be yes here. If you see here crawl allowed is no, which means you are disallowing Google to access this URL by robots.dxt on your website. If you see indexing allowed, no here, which means you're adding a no index tag on the page to disallow Google to index this page on Google. So if you see no here, you need to fix a robots.txt file. And if you see index allowed no here, you need to remove the no index tag from your page. Now you must be thinking how you can do that. I already created two very important videos on this topic. You can check link to both those videos that how to manage robots.txt file to make sure the crawl allowed is yes. And I create another video, how to remove no index errors from pages. If you see, no here. So check both the things in the description of this video. And now you must be thinking that you have to watch two more videos to solve this issue. Then I would say yes, this is really important guys that you understand the basics of SEO. If you're looking for a quick fix for your website, it doesn't happen like this in SEO. You really need to learn some things. And the best thing about all these things, this is not very complicated. I try to create very easy videos on this channel so that beginners can also understand. So make sure if you know in any of these points, you watch the two videos I will add in the description to solve this issue. Okay, once everything is good here, once we see the pages added to sitemap is good, and then these both are yes, which means we don't have any technical error on these pages. And pages are good enough to be indexed on Google. What you need to do here is, you need to click here request indexing. And you can see indexing requested. So now, he manually said Google that please index this page and you can see the message URL was added to a priority crawl queue which means Google is giving priority to this URL now and crawling it and to see if this URL is worthy enough to be indexed on Google or not. If it is a good page, it will be indexed very fast on Google. Which leads to the second point in what case Google will not index this page. That will be content quality issues guys. Okay, this is the page on the website. This is the page says WordPress versus other website builder. I just gave 11 points here why WordPress better than other website builders. Do you think it's a good content? No, it is not a good content. Now you need to take care of few things here. First thing is thin content. Make sure you're writing minimum 1000 words. If you're a new blogger, your website is new. Write detailed articles. Other thing what you can do to improve the quality of your content is make sure it is not a copied content or a duplicate content from anywhere else. I see a lot of you comment on the videos. Okay, their website is not getting indexed on Google. Their AdSense account is not getting approved. And when I do live streams or I just help them when they submit their website, you on my website, I check them, they write all the content from AI and the content quality is really bad. And they say, no, we did everything right, but content is not getting indexed. And guys, to be honest, in most of the cases, it's us, it's our mistake. That's why pages are not getting indexed. 
sometimes we need to criticize our own content to ensure that we are giving the maximum quality to our blog post. So make sure you are criticizing your content, see what it can be improved on your content, how you can improve it. Don't write like small blog posts with no information. Don't write generic content which is available everywhere on internet. Make sure you are writing high quality blog posts, meaning 1000 word content which is unique. You are adding all the latest information. You don't have grammatical errors on your website. Menu has at least three or four categories which represent what is your website is about. You can see the website here is about fitness, so I have fitness, exercise, food, nutrition, mental health, yoga. You can see there are multiple categories here and there are many blog posts here. Website design should be clean, you should have important links on your website. And guys, make sure you're using social media icons. So this is how you can improve your website content quality. And now you must be saying, okay, our pages were indexed before. They're not getting indexed anymore right now, but they were indexed before. And if my website quality was not good before, how my content was getting indexed before? So guys, Google improves their search engine every day. And the system, they check for new things every time. And Google algorithm changes time to time. Every time they get much better, more improved. Maybe it's possible your content which was not very high quality or maybe written by AI was indexed before. But now because of new updates, Google system thinks that this content is not good enough. So I see this is a problem with a lot of people. They just, okay, my content was getting indexed before, not anymore. So maybe it's possible Google think it's not worthy enough. And if you're a regular viewers of this channel, you know I create a complete detailed video about it, how you can convert your low quality content on high quality content. I give real example of a website of my subscriber. So you can check that video, link in description. And trust me, this video really help you out and you will understand how to make your website high quality. And I have a special message for you guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching all these videos, giving all the support. But we still have a lot of people on this channel which are not subscribed. Only 10% of people of this channel are subscribed, 89% are not subscribed. So if you're a regular viewer of the channel, the video I created really helps you out. Please press the subscribe button, I really appreciate that. That boosts the morale to create more videos like this. And subscribing is totally free guys, it will notify every time I post a new informational video. Okay, let's go back to today's video topic. Now two steps happen if we don't have technical issues. If the content is really good, there's no problem with both of these things. What you can do to index your website pages quickly on Google. So this is going to be step three to address the crawl budget and crawl budget issues. So what happened guys, Google server access millions of websites every day. And it takes a lot of power of servers to access all these websites on the internet. And it is possible your website is a new website or it is not very high ranking website on Google. So Google will not use so much time to access your website, to crawl your website and index pages regularly on search engine. So maybe Google bots are coming only once a week to access your website, to crawl your website. So maybe those pages are not getting indexed. So now you can do three important things. So Google crawl your website fast and those pages are being indexed which you're writing on your website. So first point would be improve the internal linking of website. For example, you can say this is a new blog post website which is not getting indexed here. I write this blog post a comprehensive guide to choosing the right web hosting provider. What I can do, I can improve the internal linking. So for example, there's another page on the website which says hosting deal. And this page is a very famous page. You can see how these hostings have good customer support. What I can do, I can take this hosting word and I can add a hyperlink here. I can add a link here to this, to the URL of this page, which is guiding about the hosting. And guys, make sure when you internal link those pages on your website, they should be relevant. Don't write a different topic of blog post to a different topic of blog post. So by doing internal linking, so this page is already ranking on Google. This page has good traffic. When I add this new blog post on this page, then Google will pick up this blog post very fast and it will be indexed on Google. This is the first thing you can do. Second thing you can do to update your website regularly. So what happens when you keep updating your website regularly, Google bot will come to your website often because Google bot will say, okay, they're adding a lot of content on the website, which is useful. So let's give more call budget to this website. So when you have more call budget, Google bots will come more often to your website, your pages and posts will index much faster on search engine. And the last thing you can do, go to your search console, add the URL here, like I already explained you, retrieve the data from Google and then click on request indexing. When you click on request indexing, this is the final solution. But guys, make sure you don't have a technical error on your website. The content quality is good. And then you're optimizing the crawl budget website. Crawl budget is a totally different topic. I created a complete, very, very useful video on this topic. If you want to check this video, check the link in the description. And if you get any value from this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with somebody. I really appreciate that. Comment down below if you have any questions. I reply to all the comments on this channel. And watch this small page, which should really help to index your website pages and rank on Google.